Thank you. Ride fours. I also brought the Hoka Evo Speed Goats just in case. It's been a while since I've worn Solomon, a couple months. So just wanted to get a run in, and these is actually the first run too. I'm very surprised there was still sunscreen left in that. Garmin Enduro today. I'm gonna do just a quick short loop, just kind of warm up the legs a little bit feel out these Solomons, so I'm not going to take a water bottle or anything right away. Just a real short, just a real short loop. Get things going. Whew. Oh my gosh. You hear that? That's the uh, tornado sirens. Which is, uh, gosh, they test them on Saturday mornings. It's supposed to be the first Saturday of every month. I guess that would be today. Yeah. So, fun tornado sirens going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Five miles in and getting some water took a salt stick tab and I'm also putting some uh, what's this called <laughs> you can in my handheld I'm gonna take my handheld out from now on
seven miles in, hour and 15 minutes. Just keeping it pretty steady, about five miles per hour pace, 12 minutes per mile. Just trying to keep it steady. Oh man, it's so hot. That's good though. Any type of extra adversary during your run. If you can manage yourself and stay safe, it helps down the road when you've got your race coming up. If you can stick it out on those days that really really suck yeah you'll be in a much better place come race day It's getting real hot. Whew. Oh, real hot in here. But, oh, I'm at like 16.75 miles. I'm just dying right now. I'm gonna quit this at 17. I just need to get back to the Jeep. I don't know, something about this place. It's just so hot and humid. Like, Ah, something going on here. Something's going on. Four hours, 10 minutes. Oh, this was a brutal run. Oh. I feel awful right now. But, Solomon, since ride four, they did pretty well. Car says 99 degrees right now. Oh my gosh. Now obviously that's not the uh, like air temperature, but that's the temperature of, you know, like the surface of something with the sun beating down on it. So that's what I feel like. All right, so the Solomon Sense Ride for I don't know if I'm, I'm probably not going to do like a full review on this shoe because um, I have just so many shoes that I need to get through, and honestly, I have had this for a long time, um, but pulled it out of the box to wear it during this run because I have another pair of Solomons coming in, and I wanted to just kind of get the feel of Solomon again. It's been a couple months since I've really worn anything from Solomon. Uh, so since ride for 17 miles today, just over four hours. So Solomon shoes are very, like, either you love them or you hate them. And for me personally, like, I really like them for specific things. They've never had a shoe that I felt like I could really do like 100 miles in because of just their cushioning and like I just felt like I needed a little bit more under the foot. Uh, but the Sense Ride 4, I've had several different versions of this going back to I think I think the original almost uh, since before I was with Ultra and I just really like 
this shoe and this fit. The upper, just with this quick lace system, the way it locks in, it's got this little pocket where you can tuck the lace in uh, while you're running so that there's nothing flapping around. Like it's just, it's very clean. It's very, like just a very well put together shoe. The midsole is the thing that sometimes leaves a little bit to be desired with Solomon shoes in my experience. Uh, even today, like when I was doing 17 miles in it, when I would switch over to the roads to kind of like take uh, the road to another different trail, I was like, oh man, like these shoes are, like I really want something that feels better and gives me a better ride on the roads. But when I'm on the trails, these shoes really, really shine. Uh, you just really feel really agile, really nimble. Like you feel like you can really do a lot of fun things on the trails. They're not bulky. There's not anything extra on the heel. As far as the midsole goes, there is an eight millimeter drop on here, which uh, feels really good running on trails. The outsole, these lugs are only four millimeters, so they're not going to give you like a ton of like insane grip in mud or anything like that. I would consider these more for a little bit drier conditions. You saw in the video today how humid and sweaty I was. Like the, they did get really wet and the sock liners did uh, hold a lot of water. And sock, I mean like this right here. So like this did hold a lot of water and it kept like squishing. And I know I haven't reviewed any ultra shoes in a while, but that's one thing that they do really well. They have these cutouts along the forefoot that really do expel water. Uh, the one thing, the water was coming out of the top of the shoe right here. So when I would step, like you could see it like kind of like bubbling out uh, and so that's one thing where I just kind of like I wish that some shoes would do this a little bit better maybe take a few cues from ultra and put in some uh, drain holes like along the sides because that's really where the water wants to squeeze out uh, when you're it's super hot super humid and your shoes are filling with water or sweat other than that though like First impressions of these shoes, just really, really good. The fit and the feel of Solomon's, like when you put them on, you just feel like you can tackle anything. Like you just feel nimble. You feel like you're just ready to go and run. These have to be on trails. Like if you're on like any sort of stuff where it's like roads too, like they just leave a little bit to be desired. Not a whole lot of punch in them when you're uh, running on roads. Uh, but when you're on trails, they feel great. That's my first impressions of the Solomon Sense Ride 4. Like I said, I've got another pair of Solomons coming any day now uh, that I'm very, very excited for. Brand new shoes that just hit the market just recently. Uh, so excited to test those out. And I might test those out this weekend. I'm thinking about uh, if things work out with schedule and everything, I might be able to actually go up to uh, the Chain of Lakes State Park where the Indiana Trail 100 is and actually get some time on those trails up there. So I'm hoping that that happens uh, and I'm hoping that these new shoes come in before then, but I've also got a couple shoes from Hoka coming today, uh, the Zanals and a couple others. So I'm just like, this is like just getting crazy with shoes right now. I just, I need more time in my schedule. I might need to see if I can move some stuff around, but I mean, as of right now, I'm just pumping up the miles. I'll hit over 70 miles this week, next week. For the next couple weeks, I hope to have 70 plus. Uh, because nine weeks from right now is the Indiana Trail 100, and I need to start packing on the miles. So that's it for this video. Sorry about my eye. I don't know if you can see it's a little swollen. I got stung. I think I got stung by a bee or a mosquito or something during this run. It was, it hurt a lot. But I'm just so pumped at everything that's happening on this channel. Like I, uh, seven, seven or eight months ago, you know, when I announced that I was going to start doing like focusing on shoe reviews and that was going to be my thing uh, along with vlogs and races and everything like that but specifically shoe reviews was something that I wanted to like really focus on and like things are just happening in that arena like it's just incredible it's so fun uh and i really think that you guys are going to benefit just as much as i am from this because like i'm getting to test out all these shoes for myself sure but i'm able to pass on what i'm finding out to you guys and already i've seen so many people just uh, like have benefited from this and it's just so cool to see like my unique perspective you know running 100 milers like putting in a lot of miles on these shoes like my body type kind of taller slender like just I just, I believe that there is a unique perspective uh, and a corner of this area on YouTube that I'm 
fitting in. I'm just really, really excited about it. And thank you guys because we are doing this together. One big happy YouTube family. <laughs> Uh, but that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. Stop it.